Today is uh, Wednesday. I don't know the date. I'm really bad at that. We started this car yesterday. This is a CLS 550. Uh, it's, I think it's like brand new. Honestly, like the paint feels like brand new. So I think the car has a couple hundred miles on it. It's coming in for a wrap, going from the gray to this orange, which is called, it's actually called Satin Canyon Copper. It's a really nice color. Got a couple other projects. I got this, this is kind of unique. This guy brought it in, it's uh, for his boat. We're gonna do some customization to that. So we get like weird little off projects that we don't show on camera. Probably show this one's kind of cool, it's unique. And uh, I think this is gonna open up some doors. The stuff that we're gonna do to this, I think people are gonna love it. These guys over there having fun. We're heading down to San Diego to visit our friend TJ. We are gonna be wrapping the new wide body BRZ. We're gonna do a sleepover. We'll be out there for a couple days, so we're gonna take you guys along for the ride. Um, hopefully nothing weird happens with that guy, because he does weird, weird shit in his sleep. So. See you later, buddy. Later, man. Have fun. Later, John. Later, Mitch. Have fun, guys. Take care Thanks. of the shop. Will do. So we're leaving Mitch here. He's gonna knock out the Mercedes. When we get back, it should be all done. Welcome to my warehouse. Uh, brand new. Mr. Courtney. Mr. Oh, <laughs> Courtney. What's up, buddy? How are you good? Good. good? John? What up, Dan? Nice to meet you, man. What up, TJ? Yeah, how you doing, man? Doing all right. How you doing? Thanks for coming. Take that off. Or take this handle off. Oh, good. We'll take it. Everything on it. Don't be soldiers. That's tight, dude. I, I, I was hoping it was that color. Three M said it's brand new. Yep. And it's blue, but then its edges are straight purple. Hours in. Yeah, we're a couple hours in. I'll say we're probably like two hours in. It's going a little slower. Mitch isn't here, so it's a little different. Usually he's knocking out one side, I'm doing the other, so not today. Oh, Daddy did it all by himself this time. <laughs> he's so good at that. <laughs> you know, the, the kid's getting tired. <laughs> oh, dude. She's getting tired. It's bedtime. So, I just learned I from the man Daniel over there. He showed me how to wrap last weekend. This is the technique he yeah, wants me to show you uh, for everyone to use. When you see a crease like that, a really big crease, you don't really want to pull up on it or anything. You just kind of, kind of just want to mash it in really, really hard. Um, and it's gonna leave that, but don't worry, give it 24 hours and uh, the sun will take it out. Don't trip, don't trip. All of this, all of this is coming out, don't, don't worry. Don't worry, this, this is really good wrap. It's so... It's out huge wrap. <laughs> no, don't trip. <laughs> this looks bad now, but don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> don't, this will all come out. the remnants of TJ Hunt's old wrap diamond red. We didn't even have to remove it. I got here, TJ had already taken it off. He locked us in his building. He left us, you know, left us here to fuck and get it done. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna try to knock the car out in 24 hours. <sighs> gonna start this side. And then we're gonna go do all this tomorrow. It's 11 p.m. right now and we got this done. We got uh, one side done. The color's amazing. 3M supplied the material. They hooked us up with it. Super dope. Brand new color. So, so new, I don't even know what it's called. So maybe by the time we film this video and all that good stuff's done, we'll know what it's called, but it's some badass color. It's almost 12 o'clock. How's it looking, Daniel? It's looking good, man. So actually a lot of hours in. We've been here for a while. It started off kind of slow. It took a minute to get in the momentum, get the groove going, but we were in it. I had like three monsters by now. Like TJ has no water here. <laughs> I was like, dude, where's the water at? He's like, yeah, we don't drink water. I got monsters. So we drank like 
fucking three monsters and now we're here. This is the third car for TJ that we've done. Like we've got to know TJ, I mean you got to know TJ. Oh, the whole crew's got to know TJ. And he's just like, he's a fucking cool dude. Like he's basically one of those, one of those people like, all the stuff that he's done for us over the last couple months. Super appreciative of it. Like, he hit me up and they like, dude, come wrap my car. And it's not like, for me, it's not like, oh, fuck, we gotta go wrap another one of his cars. It's actually really cool. Like, obviously, he appreciates our work. Because one thing I do know about TJ, and I see it all the time, is like, wrap shops are hitting him up left and right. Because they know he wants, they want, you know, he wants his cars wrapped. And, I mean, he can get his car wrapped anywhere. And he still comes to us. It's just fucking cool. It's, it's really cool to me that he gives us that that respect. Yeah. You don't grind, you don't shine. You know, so like right now, it's late. We're wrapping. We got cars at the shop that we're working on. I got Mitch at the shop right now working. You know, so he's wrapping up a Benz for us. We're trying to get delivered in the next few days. We're here in San Diego wrapping this one. So it's like, it's cool. I, I, I get to see our crew like, really like developing out and everybody's just shining. In my, in my opinion, every single one of the guys, the whole crew, down to you. I mean, it's fucking midnight. You're here at the shop with me, you know? It trips me out. It's just so cool. It's cool. So, <laughs> how sick is that? Cool. You like that? Bye, Dad. Okay, buddy. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. It's 3 a.m. We've spent about nine hours working on TJ's car. We got a good bulk of it done. We got sides done, mirrors, door handles, rear bumper, roof. Um, what else? Let's go over here. We got this whole side done. So what we have left is hood. I think we're gonna get a new hood for the car, so we're waiting on that. We're trying to figure that one out. And then uh, we got these parts to wrap and then put it all back together. So I'm assuming probably like another eight hours. Like these parts right here, they're uh, they're smaller, but they're actually probably a lot harder than what you see what we've done so far. Like this is all the easy stuff. So, yeah. No. 3 a.m. 3.47, bro. It's already four. We, uh, we just got checked in our hotel room. We're gonna sleep for like two hours, three hours, and we're gonna go back. Jump on the bed. <laughs> Check out time. Check out time. It's uh, noon on Thursday. Going back to Hunt Quarters to finish up TJ's wrap on the BRZ. We stayed for like eight hours last night. And we, got, we got a good amount of work done, so let's go finish it off. something that we typically do but when we do it it's for a reason and in this case it's a really intricate bumper so I want to make sure that you know when he gets on the road and he's driving and there's that high heat that it doesn't peel up or pop any of these edges up so there's no tension on it they're literally just laid in really nicely um, so there's there's seams here there's a seam here we use these accents to also relieve some of the tension this color when you work with it if you do any stretching it discolors and it turns white so we wanted to avoid doing that especially on the bumper because there is a lot of stretching that happens when you're going around. So in this case, we did the inlays and just created a design, uh, created a design with it. And that's the finished product. There's actually still a little bit more. You'll still see that there's some stuff down here that we need to get into, but 
I'll save that for another day. Let's do it, guys. TJ, later, bro. Right. You guys try to stay up, alright? We'll do, do. Thank, Thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate it. Alright, see you guys. See ya.